Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. The Natufians and the Canaanites. The people who were called Natufians were historically and culturally the same people who were called the Canaanites. Biblically, and historically. Natufian Shaman. This woman is a shaman from the Natufian culture, which occupied the Levantine region of the Middle East between 12,500 to 10,000 years ago. Now, to astute readers of the Bible, this timeline might seem a bit strange but it's all because of Plato the Greek philosopher Plato who chronicles Atlantis or the sinking of Atlantis to around this time 12,500 to 10,000 years ago because the Greeks also believed in the biblical flood and remember Plato learned about Atlantis from Egypt so the Egyptians also believed there was a global flood so consequently the scientific community and academia and philosophers believed there were some type of event cataclysmic event that happened during this time Scientifically, they call it the Younger Dryas, where some type of extinction level event happened. Whether it was a comet hitting the Earth, or a global flood, or ice age. They believe something happened. We know something happened. It's called the Biblical Flood of Noah. But the scientific community and the and academia recognized this as a reality. So let's continue reading the Natuvian Shaman. They would have lived as hunter-gatherers, but they appear to have settled down and built permanent villages instead of roaming the land as nomads. And they most probably was among the forerunners to the region's earliest farmers. The woman's headband here is actually made of dentalinium shells strung together. And the beads of her necklace would have been fashioned from bones and animal teeth. Both are based on Natufian jewelry recovered from the site of El Wad in what is now Israel. So now the next question that could be asked, is this artwork of this Natufian shaman woman accurate? She appears to be what would be classified as a black woman, maybe an East African woman, a Western African woman, or a woman from South India or from the South Pacific but is this image correct well let's turn to the book Camite Brotherhood African Origins in Early Asia by James E. Brunson what I think is interesting about James E. Brunson is 
he doesn't limit his research to just American anthropologists. He also uses the research of European anthropologists. And in his book, Camite Brotherhood, on page 37, he has anthropological records of Natufians. So, the area that we are investigating would be Western Asia or the Near East or what's also known as the Middle East. Mesolithic period. Area Palestine or modern day Israel or biblically the land of Canaan. Culture. Natufian. The shaman woman was a Natufian. So we're going to do a little research here to find out what this woman looked like. Was that artwork accurate? Historical, archaeological. Her physical type, proto dravidinian Remember, they're finding skeletons. So when the experts are reconstructing these people, they're using comparisons. So these people are being compared to modern day people. So her physical type is proto dravidinian or South Indian. She would perhaps resemble a woman from Southern India. Cultural type, Shakpa people. Scientific term. You will also find Natufians listed under these terms and these types. Mediterranean type, equatorial, which is also classified as Negro asteroid race. So she would have resembled a woman from southern India or a Negro asteroid type person or woman. And this photograph on the right is a image of a Dravidinian man from South India. So this is the physical type that the anthropologists imagine in their mind when they are looking at the skeleton or skeletons of ancient men of Canaan or ancient Canaanites. Area, Western Asia. Time period, it's classified as Mesolithic period. Area, Palestine or modern day Israel and the land of Canaan, biblically. And the culture, Natufian. Historical, archaeological. And the physical type, proto dravidinian The man is a Dravidinian man. So we understand what proto dravidinian would resemble or what type of physical type of a person that would look like South Indian cultural type Shikba people scientific term Mediterranean equatorial equatorial goes into southern or as they classify sub-Saharan African also, these people are known as Negro Asteroid Race. So, someone who has Negro or Australian Aboriginal features and characteristics. Natufian culture. The Natufian culture is a late Epipaleolithic archaeological culture of the Neolithic prehistoric Levant in Western Asia dating to around 15,000 to 11,500 years ago. The culture was unusual in that it supported a sedentary or semi-sedentary population even before the introduction of agriculture. The Natufian communities may be the ancestors 
are the builders of the first Neolithic settlements of the region, which may have been the earliest in the world. Some evidence suggests deliberate cultivation of cereals, specifically rye by the Natufian culture at Tel Abu Aria. The site of the earliest evidence of agriculture in the world. The world's oldest known evidence of the production of bread-like foodstuff has been found at Shubayakwa 1. A 14,400 year old site in Jordan's northeastern desert 4,000 years before the emergence of agriculture in Southwest Asia. In addition, the oldest known evidence of possible bear brewing dating to approximately 13,000 BP was found in Waquafet Cave on Mount Carmel. Although the bear-related residues may simply be a result of a spontaneous formation, the Natufian culture is synonymous with Mount Carmel. Generally, though, Natufians exploited wild cereals and hunted animals, including gazelles. Archaeogenetic analysis has revealed derivation of later Neolithic to Bronze Age Levantines, primarily from Natufians, besides substantial admixture from Chalcolithic Anatolians. And this picture on the bottom left is where the land of Israel is located. To the top is where the Anatolians are located, Turkey, modern day Turkey, Armenia area. And this is because after the flood, the people who survived Noah and his children were in the Mount Ararat or Armenia, Turkey area. And basically they moved down to Babel or Babylonia near the Persian Gulf. And also they moved south, the Canaanites to the land of Israel. Dorothy Garad coined the term Natufian. Dorothy Garad pretty much made up that name Natufian for people we know as Biblical Canaanites and other people. Dorothy Garad coined the term Natufian based on her excavations at the Shakoba Cave, Wadi uh, Natuf, that's the area, Wadi on uh, Natuf today, near the town of Shakopa. The discovery of the Natufian culture. The Natufian culture was discovered by British archaeologist Dorothy Garad during her excavations of Shukoba Cave in the Judean Hills on the west bank of the Jordan River. Prior to the 1930s, the majority of archaeological work taking place in British Palestine was biblical archaeology, focused on historic periods, and little was known about the region's prehistory. In 1928, Gerard was invited by the British School of Archaeology in Jerusalem, BSAJ to excavate Shukoba Cave, where prehistoric stone tools have been discovered by Perry Malone four years earlier. She discovered a layer sandwiched between the Upper Paleolithic and the Bronze Age deposits, characterized by the presence of microliths or small stone arrows stone arrows, microliths. She identified this with the Mesolithic 
a transitional period between the Paleolithic and the Neolithic, which was well represented in Europe, but had not yet been found in the Near East. A year later, when she discovered similar material at Elwad Taris, Garad suggested the name, the Natufian culture, after Wadi An Natuf, that ran close to Shukoba. So the Natufians were named after an area called Wadi An Natuf, Natuf and Natufian. Natufian is a made up name by a British archaeologist. These people are the biblical Canaanites. Canaanite culture developed from the ancestral Natufian culture. Canaan, Wikipedia article. This Negroid asteroid physical type was not limited to the region of ancient Palestine. It actually, or these skeletons were found in Europe, the Middle East, or the Near East, North Africa, and East Africa, and beyond. As this map on the left the pink and red colors actually shows where these types were located. And on the right is where this type was located in Palestine. So on the map is Europe, the lands of Japheth, the Middle East, the lands of Shem, North Africa, the lands of Ham. And this is a quote from H.G. Wells concerning these people. This brown or this belt of brown skinned men were everywhere the original possessors of the Neolithic culture and the beginners of what we call civilization. H.G. Wells, The Outline of History. And for those who are interested in a more detailed account of what they actually found in Mount Carmel caves, you can read the book, The Stone Age of Mount Carmel, The Fossil Human Remains from the Levalois Mosterian, which is a Stone Age industry or technology, volume two by Theodore D. McCohen and Sir Arthur Keith, Oxford, 1939. And this is a quote from this book so we can understand what they found in those caves as far as human types. It is among asteroid and negroid living races that we find a degree of pragmatism equal to that of skull five. The skulls that they found were comparable to asteroid and negroid people in Mount Carmel, the land of Canaan, or the land of Palestine. And for further edification, this is a visual representation of Negroid asteroid types, ancient European and Middle Eastern, or these types, physical types, were found in the cemeteries or graves of ancient Europeans and Middle Eastern people. Negroid asteroid types ancient Europeans, or Japhetic, or ancient Greeks, ancient Italians, ancient Spanish, French, German, Russian, 
and Middle Eastern, Canaanites, Armenians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians. These are the physical types, similar physical types that would have inhabited those lands. Negroid asteroid types also would include North Africa, Egypt, Libya, Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia, facial features of ancient European and Middle Eastern types. It would also include India, China, Vietnam, the South Pacific, 